We are here in Orlando at the Alamo E4 Pro AV Tour here. Uh, it's actually co-located with the International Sign Association's International Sign Expo, which is sort of that static sign industry. They're all getting into digital dynamic signage, and I'm joined by Carol Norden. Carol Norden is the president of Touch Systems. Carol, uh, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. How are you? Doing well, doing well. And uh, your company is, you are probably one of the most specialized companies in the industry because all you do is build touch integrated uh, digital signage displays. Absolutely. We, we cover digital signage, interactive digital signage displays, anywhere from a 10 inch uh, display all the way up to an 80 inch display. So, so your technology will work on any size display. What about what about when s displays get larger? You can just you can hang with it no matter what. Yes, we can absolutely do that. So we can scale them up, and in, in, including video walls and things along that line as well. Well, I don't want to talk about the technology as much as I want to talk about sort of what's happening uh, trend-wise. I mean, certainly I talked about this morning in my keynote. It used to be that uh, interactive or touch technology, for example, in digital science was sort of a fringe market or sort of a sort of a luxury segment of the market, but now it's becoming more of a normal part of uh, digital science and, and, and not so much of a fringe. It's really being integrated into a large portion of digital science because engaging with the customer seems to generate a higher ROI. Oh, absolutely. Customer engagement is key, and, and having an interactive technology is a critical element in order to be able to engage the customer. Uh, there's, there's a lot of information that can be disseminated as well as acquired by utilizing a touchscreen. And what, give me real quickly, like the top four applications for touchscreens. Oh, I would say today, uh, retail applications definitely uh, have the market. Uh, secondary to that, I would say corporate settings, and uh, that's anywhere from a digital signage system that's disseminating information to uh, the employees and staff, including you know work productivity and things on that line, and then medical. Right, we see a lot of activity in the medical space. And what about um, is there a movement towards, or is this sort of too much in the future of integrating sort of the Cognivision analytics stuff where you can figure out who's actually standing in front of the display and actually customize the messaging to them and then change the, the touch interactivity to them based on who they are, where they are, and where they're from. Oh, absolutely, and that's happening already. Uh, there, there are organizations out there that are focused just on this exclusively, and what we're doing on the hardware side is making sure that the hardware is equipped to be able to do that facial recognition, uh, help with the demographic studies, if you will, utilizing uh, this specialized software. Uh, but I do see it becoming more and more common in, in touch applications in public spaces. Again, uh, the, those displays are disseminating information but acquiring uh, information as well. So um, the nice thing about touch systems is you don't have to add anything. They can call you up and order whatever size they want. It's already pre-integrated and all they got to do is plug it in and you have you not only have um, um, displays that can be mounted portrait and landscape but you also have tabletop displays as well. Absolutely and so tabletop or a flat dis display is very popular today as well. Uh, utilized again public spaces for entertainment, uh, information dissemination as well. Um, as you mentioned, right? Uh, the small sizes, large sizes, uh, portrait landscape, it's available. So do we get touchsystems.com? Did I get that right? You got it right. <laughs> all right, so you can check it out at touchsystems.com. And we still have a few other people to interview at the Almo E4 AV Tour, so keep watching. And, of course, uh, this will continue the rest of the day. And, of course, we did go through the whole entire show floor and shoot all the new products that were launched here at the E4 Tour. So thanks for watching.